Burton. Uh, thank you, and thank you for your uh, last paragraph of your reply, where you actually say that Minister Josephine Madigan and her department are responsible in relation to the budget for travellers and culture. So I want to ask both of the ministers here, I put down a very simple question to ask the Minister for Culture, Heritage and the Gaeltacht her plans to establish funding for artists, projects and institutions dedicated to highlighting the place of traveller culture and history in Irish society and if she will make a statement on the matter. And I got a reply with the Minister refusing to take the question but putting the travellers into the Department of Justice. That tells you what uh, some people in this government... Now, Minister Madigan has form in relation to objecting to traveller housing. Is she objecting to traveller culture as well? I don't know if the two ministers are aware of this, Minister. but I ask my question in, out of respect okay, Minister, for the traveller community, specifically to the Department Minister of Culture. Again, I want to thank the Deputy for her question. The PQ was referred to me and I'm pleased to actually answer what I can of it. I obviously, I support the highlighting of the, of the place of travel and Roma culture and history in Irish society. The primary mechanism for this is the Travel and Roma Pride Week. And I recently opened the Traveller Pride Awards, a wonderful event that celebrates travel and Roma culture. This event marked the beginning of Traveller Pride Week. Action 1 of the National Travel and Roman Inclusion Strategy 2017 in the 21 states, and I quote, the Department of Justice and Equality will support, strengthen and expand Traveller Pride Week and increase national awareness of the event, end of quote. Uh, funding is made up of, uh, is made available to a range of organisations in grants of up to €2,000 through uh, an open call for proposals to assist the Travel and Roma communities to mark Traveller and Roma Pride Week. Applications for funding are granted for activities satisfying the following criteria. One, they involve the active participation of members of the Travel and Roma community at all stages of the project, planning implementation and so on, uh, celebrate and promote traveller and uh, Roma culture, promote a positive image of travel and Roma culture to the wider, set, wider settled community. Uh, members of the settled community must be included and invited to the event. The event must be accessible to an open public audience where possible. Funding has also been provided for a number of horse projects around the country. These projects are reflective of the government's acknowledgement of the importance of the horse culture for the health and well-being of the traveller community and for the horses in their care. In 2019, 39 projects were approved to receive support from my department as part of the Traveller Pride Week. These include the Galway Traveller Movement, Blanchestown Traveller Development, Meath Traveller Workshops, Faroiga Bellahanas Youth Service. In July 2019, Two elements of traveller culture were inscribed in Ireland's national inventory of intangible cultural heritage, as I said earlier, specifically for Kent, Gammon, Culture and Tinsmithing. And this represents a government commitment um, uh, to protect, promote and celebrate those living cultural heritage practices, customs, crafts and traditions. The Department of Culture and Heritage is responsible for the delivery of funding to practice recognising this list through its cultural projects uh, funding. Um, as I said earlier. Uh, so the, the Pride Week is, uh, is really amazing and I'm sure the Deputy has been there and would join with me in, in acknowledging that. Deputy. So th this is a question of principle. I was a member of the government and Tonish in the government that actually rep recognised and acknowledged the ethnicity of travellers and that was celebrated right around this house by all parties. We have the all-party committee on travellers uh, that was just referenced by Deputy Collins. This is actually a matter of recognising the significance of travellers in Irish culture. Culture. And you've just said that the Minister for Culture is responsible for the budget. Now I am asking, will you on behalf of the government apologise to travellers that the minister who has form in relation to traveller housing, she objected to traveller housing, for instance, a uh, while ago in Mount Anvil because that was too valuable an area of land for people like travellers to be housed on. I, I, I mean, I ask you, Minister, on behalf of your government, would you and the Senior Mi Justice Minister actually apologise? Because this is what apartness and separation means. That instead of, like every other artist in the country, I'm not going to name a whole list of traveller artists, but can I just draw your attention to the achievements of travellers, particularly in music, uh, in painting and art, in theatre? Uh, and can I ask you, 
why the Minister for Culture in your government should refuse to okay. answer a perfectly question. valid question about travellers and question. culture when she is responsible Minister for Stanton. that budget. I actually want an apology uh, okay. on behalf Stanton. of the traveller community. Nobody has a better record in this House than Minister David Stanton. Sorry, I absolutely recognise Minister Stanton. Sorry, I recognise that. And Minister Nobody. Flanagan, I don't associate you with any negativity that I'm aware of in respect okay. of Stanton. I'm talking about your colleague Minister who sits Stanton. around the table. Has somebody As told the deputy, you? Now, deputy, there are others awaiting. They're here for some time. As I said earlier on, the, uh, the National Travel and Roman Inclusion Strategy is the current strategy that we are uh, implementing with respect, with, in partnership and in conjunction with uh, representatives of the traveller community who actually sit on the steering committee that I chair. And they're doing amazing work there. And part of that work is identifying how we can actually recognise and strengthen and engage uh, with the history and the culture and the heritage of the traveller community. And it's really exciting work in many ways. And what they're bringing to the table is very important, not only in this area, but in the area of education, in housing, in health, mental health, and so on, right across the board. And, and I must say that the department officials there, uh, from all departments represented, are, are, are really engaged here. Um, we've recently had a report on accommodation uh, that the Minister for uh, Housing was very anxious to get. That's being considered by him at the moment. It was, it was, he got it in uh, September just uh, this year, uh, last month, and uh, he's being, it's been considered. I'm, we're expecting uh, positive results from the implementation of that report. Uh, we also have uh, the Minister of Health doing a lot of good work in that area. So there's a whole lot of very, and education is area that I'm particularly interested in to ensure that children can go to school and celebrate their culture in Come school. Again. And the Depart Minister for Education has doing, been doing some work in that Thank area, you. as you know. Thank you. Yes, and the Minister for Education, in fairness to the Minister for Education, has been willing to answer questions in relation to travel children and education. I am asking, why is the Culture Minister, who holds a very honoured title nationally and internationally in your government refusing to answer a question about travellers and culture. It's a very simple question and I, I think it's just an insult that she would refuse to take it. I have no problem with Minister Staunton, whom I know is dedicated to the work that he does in respect of travellers, but we as a collective house passed uh, the uh, recognition of travellers as a separate ethnic, ethnic group in Ireland in March of 2017. I, it was actually one of the proudest days in this house with the gallery up there filled with people from the travelling community. And now uh, a, a significant member of your cabinet refuses to take a question. Although you. as you've said twice, three Thank times you. now in your answers, she's responsible for the Thank budget you. in relation to travellers and culture. Okay. Thank you. Minister Stanton can only speak for himself, I, I, and maybe we'll, you'll get an opportunity to further stage. Uh, thank you. The the last question. Question. I'll be guided by what you just said. Um, and can I just say as well that I acknowledge that the Deputy Opposite has actually um, recognised the important work uh, that's been done by the Minister of Education and Skills and, his, and the former Minister, Mr. Deputy Richard Bruton, regarding the Traveller Culture and History and Education uh, 2018 uh, Bill, which was uh, produced by Senator Kelleher. And that again um, is, is trying to uh, recognise Traveller Culture in our schools. And um, that, that, that particular, um, that particular uh, was, was uh, I think it's gone to a second stage in the Shannon and it's being progressed, hopefully. Thank you.